Hola, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. I'm in the middle of um, doing a whole bunch of makes for my trip to Mexico. And um, this one is uh, part of our swim and beachwear roundup. Um, I have a little story to tell about this one, but first I just want to say welcome to my new subscribers. I see a lot of activity going on and I thank you so very, very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that bell and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Today, I also have some viewer makes to share with you um, that will be at the end of the video. So be sure and stay tuned for that. So a little story I have to tell you about this tankini and how it came about. It wasn't in my original um, sketched out plans for bathing suits. If you remember um, a while back, I'll post my bathing suit plans up here in case you've forgotten what I had intended to do. So I made the Hepburn dress from Patterns for Pirates. And as I was making it, I was just really lamenting the fact that I didn't have a bra that would work with that dress. So I looked at it. I did have cups because I'm in the middle of making all this swimwear. So I looked at it and I looked at it again and decided, why don't I just make a built-in bra? So I did. I hacked a bra for the Hepburn dress. So then I was about three quarters of the way through with that dress when I decided that would make an incredibly cool swim top. So I decided to use that Hepburn dress pattern then for a tankini. And at the same time, I had a lot of people asking me how I achieved putting the built-in bra in. So what I did was I decided to film how I did it with this tankini pattern and that would sort of kill two birds with one stone. I'd get my bathing suit top and you would get to see how I put a built-in bra. Now you could use this method for any top. Any top could have a built-in bra put into it. I just happened to use the Hepburn from Patterns for Pirates. Now the one thing I would say is if it's a loose fitting top you're going to want to take a tank pattern or something that has a little bit closer fitting lining so for that bra. So you want the bra part to be close fitting, but you really could do it to any top. So camis, um, summer tank dresses, uh, the summer basics by Love Notions would be a real easy one to do. Um, so yeah, they've turned me loose now and I might put a bra in everything. <laughs> but anyway, this is how I did it. I filmed it. I'm going to take you along and show you how I did this. As always, I'll be able to answer your questions on the comments, and I hope this helps you. I know for me, it's very hard to find those strapless or crisscross bras in my cup size that fit properly. If they do fit, they have so many wires and so much rubber to keep them up and all that, that they're very, very uncomfortable. So I decided that um, this would make a really good video to show you how to achieve that. And you literally could do this with any pattern. With that, I'm going to go right to the tutorial and then at the end of a few comments and share those viewer makes with you. All right, so I'm going to use this Hepburn pattern um, that I just learned to love yesterday because I made this dress and um, love it, how it fits, it was perfect. Um, the adjustments I made yesterday was to lower, lengthen the bodice because I have a very long waist. And um, basically, um, I just, that's my usual adjustment to almost any pattern. Um, and I have covered that in other videos, so I won't go into that today. But um, one key, since this is such a shaped pattern, you want this, full hip to hit you at the right spot. Um, so if it were to hit up here, then it would all bunch right here because this is at the wrong spot. So if I lengthen the bodice, it falls really nicely and the full hip is where I need the full hip to be. Um, so what I did, I like a little more ease than what I saw in some of the models in the um, pattern. So what I did was I measured the hip and I just gave myself an extra two and a half to three inches of ease. Um, so what I did was I went out to the next size and then I cut generously a little bit. 
um, so that's and to where it's fitted really closely up here but then down here I have a little bit more ease because I don't want my belly to be accentuated and all that so I, so I kind of wanted that to fall now with the tankini top that I'm going to do today that's not necessarily the case so I'm probably going to go ahead and um, you know cut it like this but I'll, I may end up I'll be trying it on and I may end up um, actually cutting these seams back down a little bit um, because I do want that to snug um, my hips um, so it'll stay down on top of my bathing suit swim skirt. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this out. I have this Lycra. It's from Surge Fabrics. And as you all know, we have a discount code for Surge Fabrics. They're kind of sponsoring my uh, Swim and Beachwear Roundup until the 25th of February. You have 15% off on um, swimwear fabrics um, and also cups and elastic and all those things that you need for swimwear. So um, go ahead and uh, use that code. It, uh, it'll be in the description box down below. But it's all capital, Sewing with Swim. Um, but it is also down below, so you don't have to write it down right now if you don't want to. So basically, we want to cut, you know, with the stretch going around your body, of course. That's uh, with any knit. That's how you do that. Be sure that you have a four-way stretch fabric because you are going to need it to stretch in all directions to make this behave the way you want it to. What I do is kind of bunch up one half and then fold the other half in, kind of saves fabric that way. All right, I think that's enough. But the lining that I did yesterday will be the exact same at the top as what I did for the dress. Um, so I'm just going to show you, use my tankini plans here to show you that technique of how to uh, add a shelf bra and cups. Very supportive. I was amazed at how supportive it actually was. I need to fold that just a little more. I end up with so much stuff on my table all the time. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, no matter how big your sewing room is, have you ever noticed that no matter how big it is, it's not big enough? <laughs> we just fill it up. It's like drawers and closets. <laughs> They're never big enough. No matter what you do. So this power net that I have is just from Joann's. It's nothing special. Um, I bought it when they had their coupon for an extra 20% off. Um, I think it was about $14.99 regularly. So I bought two yards, which will go a very long way um, for what I need it to do. You could just use swimsuit lining, but this is an extra layer of control. Um, so for a bra, I'd recommend this. If you're just lining a swimsuit without a bra, um, you don't need this, but, um, if your girls need a little more control, cause they're just so wild and crazy, <laughs> you might want to get the power net. All right. I'm going to fold that. This is the salvage. So I want to keep the salvage edge straight, even though. It's not cut straight from before. I am going to cut out a front and a back. Now to know how long to make this piece, what I did was I just measured from the um, top of my, uh, from my armpit where, where the bathing suit will come and then down to my bra line. Um, I was wearing a bra at the time and then add an extra inch so you can fold over the elastic. It's really just where you like your bra strap to be or, or your bra band to be. And that's how long I made the panel. So on me, it was a good eight inches. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm basically just gonna cut out, see that is not straight. The hardest part about cutting out stuff like this is getting the stuff to lay out straight. I'm going to just cut out a panel for the top. I 
and I'm only going to go down eight inches. So I'm going to measure eight inches here. So it's just about to the middle of this added section. You probably could get away with just going to the bottom of the where the length and short line is. Just depends on your bra size and all that. Um, but that's where I like my bra bands to be. So a lot of stuff is sewing is mathematical, but a lot of it's just common sense too. You know, where do I want the bra band to be? Well, where my bra band is. So just, you know, if you know something that already works, just replicate it. That's basically all you have to do. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to actually draw a line on this pattern since I think this is probably not the last time that I'm going to be doing this. I'm just going to go to the middle of this. Or I'm just going to add a little half inch on it. All right. So that's where it's going to be. I'm going to cut this part out. Then I'm going to fold this up with the ruler, just like I did when I cut out the swimsuit fabric. All right. That. I always thought you had to make the power net a little bit smaller so that it had control, but actually um, it does pretty well if you cut it just to size um, because it has a lot of a lot of control. If you want it to be super, super supportive, you could really carefully cut it a tiny bit. Um, smaller. This is the best rotary cutter, by the way. It's a Kai, and it doesn't go um, come out unless you press it down, which is very safe if you've got little ones around, which my grandchildren are here and sewing with me a lot. So this is the one I always use when they're here. I'll put a link to this rotary cutter in the description below. Um, I like power net for uh, obviously built in bras. I like it also for panels and pants to um, give your tummy a little control. So it's very useful stuff. I would recommend always having some on hand. Like yesterday, the mood struck me and I had some, so it was easy to pull off. All right, so now I need cups. I got these from Amazon. Um, they have a package of six uh, for, I think, $14. Um, these are DE size. Now, I know they look small. And what I was just about to tell you is to, if you can, size up a little bit on your cups. Because I like to have fuller coverage. Um, and these do it. Uh, but And I only have a C bust. So I buy the DE cups. I bought C cups and returned them because they didn't cover enough. So just a heads up. Maybe if you don't buy them on Amazon, they'll be more true to size. But the ones on Amazon, size up. All right. So I need the cups. And one thing I didn't mention is that I used swimwear elastic instead of clear elastic for the neckline and the uh, tank arms. <clears throat> My reason for this is that um, I was afraid the clear elastic wouldn't be supportive enough, it wouldn't support what I was trying to do with it. Um, and now I'm doing a swimwear um, tank, so I'm definitely gonna use the swimwear elastic, but this is 3 8 inch swimwear elastic. And also, I don't know if you've ever felt swimwear elastic, but it's very, very comfortable to wear. It's, it's cotton wrapped and um, soft against your skin. And um, I just really like it. I use it for everything pretty much. Um, I love clear elastic too. And I use that um, when it's appropriate. And if I wasn't putting the power bra <laughs> into the Hepburn dress, I would definitely use the clear elastic. But I was adding a lot to it. I wanted it to stay where I put it and I wanted it, I was afraid that the clear elastic wouldn't be powerful enough for what I was doing. So I did use regular elastic and it turned out fine. So the next thing that I'm gonna do 
is construct the bra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sew these shoulder seams and side seams together, just serge them. All right. And I'll be back. So this is my power mesh lining. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark the center of this lining. So I'm just going to fold it in half and mark the center front. It's real scientific. <laughs> um, Just go ahead and draw a little bit of a line in the center front just to make sure that we know where it is. It doesn't have to be real deep, just, just for reference. So that when you put this on, you know if your cups are centered and not off to one side or another. So basically you want to try it on and place your cups, um, do them inside out so that uh, everything is inside out and so the cups will end up on the inside of the lining. So once you try them on, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pin around each cup, just get, catching just the power mesh, not your clothes. Or Definitely wear a bra so that you know it's a foolproof way of knowing how, where your comfort level is of where you want your girls to be. So you just pin your cups in place and then you're gonna zigzag around all three sides of each cup. Now, sometimes when I'm doing a swimsuit, I go ahead and I cut the lining off. But when I use power mesh and I want it for control, I leave it completely attached. It's just an extra layer of control then, okay? I'm going to go do that part and I will be back. All right, so I've sewn my cups in and I've also tried it on to make sure that they're falling where I want them to fall. All right, so next what we're going to do is apply an elastic band. Take one inch elastic or three quarters, it doesn't really matter which you use, and just wrap this around yourself underneath your, you know, right where your bra band is. Do it while you're wearing a bra so that you know it's going to be it's going to mimic the kind of support that your current bra has for you. So just right under your breast, go ahead and just wrap that around yourself and um, go ahead and measure it and then pull it about two inches tighter and um, then go over to the sewing machine and uh, zigzag that together so that you have a loop, a band them together and then after you do that you're going to apply the band to the edge you should have about two inches underneath your breasts here so then you're going to apply that band here and then you're going to flip it over and stitch it into place and that goes all the way around all right and then you have your um, bra piece done Okay, <clears throat> so I have the, the uh, top or dress, um, whatever it is that you're doing, the outer part constructed. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and put this lining, bra lining in here. This is the front here. So I'm going to do is line these up. with the uh, lining on the suit. I'm just gonna go around and clip these together all around the, the uh, arms and the neckline. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zigzag around the neckline and around each arm. So that now this lining um, and the outer suit or dress, if that's what you're doing, um, can be just treated as one piece. 
and then follow the instructions, uh, the remainder instructions of the pattern by treating this as one piece. So when you apply the elastic, you'll be applying it to both layers together like that. Okay, and that is all. I'll be back and show you a finished picture. So you could really use this method to turn any dress into um, a dress with a bra attached or any top pattern or anything into a bathing suit um, top. So this opens up a whole world of possibilities, especially if you're like me and you want modest swimwear. So I hope that helps you. Now, before I say goodbye today, I'm going to go ahead and share some viewer makes with you. So Bridget uh, emailed me and she has um, done the Love Notions Willow Wrap and she had it for a cruise she was on and she pictured herself here in it. Um, there are a few pictures of her in it. And she also made a waistcoat for her husband, which was a Vogue pattern. She didn't give a number, but it was a Vogue pattern for the waistcoat. I think they look really great. And um, she said she's ready to sew more Love Notions patterns. So that's awesome. And Bridget, I hope you're having fun on your travels. I think she said she's traveling around Spain. So maybe we won't see her a lot in this uh, time frame. But when she gets back, I sure hope she shares with us all the fun things she did. So anyway, have a wonderful day and um, rest of the weekend. It's Sunday afternoon and um, I am after this going to go relax and maybe sew a little more and uh, maybe curl up with a good book. So have a wonderful evening and I will see you soon. Happy sewing!